Good morning, I'm going to read from Philippians 1, 27, that says, Above all, you must live as citizens of heaven, conducting yourselves in a manner worthy of the good news about Christ. Then whether I come and see you again, or only hear about you, I will know that you are standing together with one spirit and one purpose, fighting together for the Today, I'm just grateful for, I'm grateful for not just, I'm grateful for life, um, health and strength, and grateful for my wife and my children, and um, just grateful for the opportunity to be here, to, to even speak to you guys this morning. Um, this particular verse, the author is, um, the author is reminding Philippians, the, the citizens of Philippi that we speak into, right? Um, just about their conduct and about their code of conduct, right? And um, is is a good reminder what he was telling them because he was telling them that okay, whether or not y'all ever see me again, because you know at this time the Apostle Paul had already known he was basically condemned to death. You know, they were killing Christians, you know, and, and, and he was at the top of the chopping block. Um, but he wanted to leave them with some advice, you know. And he told them that whether or not I see you again, you know, or I only hear about you from a distance, you know, he said, I will know that you are standing together with one spirit and one purpose. And see, that's just what it is, you know. It ain't, it is something that we spoke about before, which is the word integrity, right? So integrity is, is who you are when no one is watching. And that's just what it's about. It's, it's not just about like you being able to be at church on Sundays or someone being able to say, oh, I know you go to church all the time. Or I know that this person is a Christian. No, it's about, it's about a lot of things. It's about keeping your word. It's about, you know, just walking with the spirit of Christ inside you. Like, someone's supposed to know you're a Christian by your love. You know, that's something that I say all the time. And when they know you by your love, that is, doesn't mean that whenever they see you, you're doing some act, you know, or you're doing something good. They know that genuinely you're a good person, you know. They know for sure that, that they could be away from you and they'll be hearing the same things that they that they would have seen when they're in your presence, you know. And what he was, what he was um, telling them was, was that, with that integrity, you know, um, work together, you know, because integrity works best when it works in company, you know, it's, it, it's harder for you to compromise your integrity when you surround it with persons with integrity, you know, and like I already said, if you sit in a barbershop long enough, you can leave with a haircut, that's just like what it is, like you can't surround yourselves with persons who into stuff that is doesn't align with what you know you believe in or you can't surround yourselves with persons who um who 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 don't have the same belief system as you or who who won't you know just be a good loving kind hearted christian <laughs> as sooner or later you know there's, there's something is going to come into question and that's either your reputation or you may be um i wouldn't say forced but you know, you may you may slip up, you may backslide by being around them. And Paul just was reminding them, you know, that being of that same integrity, you know, and with that same fight together, you know, that is where your strength will come from. You know. So I just want us to be reminded to because we, we already make good steps with this together, y'all. You know, we spend our mornings together. You know, we, we, we communicate with each other. We, you know, we, we, we've developed sort of a uh, a family circle over the time. So let's just, you know, let's just, just keep along that trend, you know, and just keep surrounding ourselves with geared people and, you know, just keep allowing the word of God to flow through us. So thank you everyone for the opportunity to speak. I hope you have a blessed week. I'm Kerry and I will like this for my week.